In Module 1, we discuss some of the benefits to using fibre optics and the enhancements it brings to both IP and AV systems. In this second module, we'll take a close look at what fibre optics is and get a basic understanding of how it works. Additionally, we'll see the different types of fibre optics, single mode and multi-mode. At ground level, fibre optic cables are comprised of two elements, an inner glass core and a glass cladding layer around it. The optical core is the light carrying element at the centre of the fibre and is made up of an ultra pure glass by way of a high temperature process. The second layer is a cladding layer surrounding the core which is made up of a pure silica and has a slightly lower index of refraction or is less dense than the core. This lower refractive index causes the light in the core to reflect when encountering the cladding and remain trapped within the core. The core and cladding of the fibre are made first in the form of a large glass rod called a preform that is then heated on the end and pulled into a single fibre. After the fibre is pulled or drawn as it's technically known, it's coated with two plastic coatings to prevent physical damage and to protect the fibre from moisture. The first of these coatings is called the primary buffer and is a hard plastic or acrylate of 250 microns in diameter. The secondary coating is known as the buffer and is a mere 900 microns in diameter. That's only 9 tenths of a millimetre. These coatings are removed using special fibre strippers at precise measurements along the fibre before splicing or terminating. Amid yarns or strengthening fibres are added around the buffer coating for additional protection and for strain relief at the back end of the connector. These same yarns are also used for attaching a pull string during installation. Finally, these five elements are all protected by an outer jacket which is generally colour coded per industry recognised standards and has manufacturer print on it to provide type, part number and a compliance information for the cable. To give you an idea of the size of fibre optics, the very centre, the core, of a multi-mode fibre is smaller than a human hair. With a diameter of between 50 and 70 microns, that's just 50 to 70 millionths of a metre, a human hair is close to being eight times the diameter of a single mode optical fibre, which is approximately the same size as pollen and dust particles. Even at the second layer, the cladding layer, optical fibre is only about the size of, of fine sand granules, incredibly small. As I alluded to just now, there are two types of fibre, and this can be one of the most confusing topics when introducing somebody to fibre optics. Fibre can either be single mode or multi mode, not to be confused with single strand or multi strand. Single mode fibre utilises a single light wave or mode of light being transmitted, versus multi mode fibre utilising multiple light waves or modes being transmitted at any given time. Fibre sizes are expressed by using two numbers separated by a slash, e.g. 9125 or 50125. The first number refers to the core diameter in microns, and the second number refers to the core and the cladding size combined in, again in microns. It's impossible to differentiate between single mode and multi mode fibre with the naked eye. There's no real difference in the outward appearance as both are 125 microns in cladding size, only the inner core size differs. In 2008, Clearline Technology Group redefined fibre optics by developing a third component to the fibre at the glass layer. This special polymer layer encapsulates the core and the cladding whilst maintaining the all important industry standard 125 micron diameter. This additional component is invisible to the naked eye, but provides the fibre with 10,000 times the bend tolerance of traditional fibre. These enhancements also make clearline fibre easier to terminate than traditional fibre and much, much safer to handle.